Bye. My name's Mark Rendell and I'm here at NDC London and they said, can you just show us something you think is cool? And so yeah, I thought I would show people uh, Scoop. Um, Scoop is a command line installer for Windows. Uh, so Linux has things like APT and Yum and Pac-Man, depending on the flavor of Linux. And on Mac, they have Homebrew. Um, and these are sort of software package installers. And on Windows, there's uh, Chocolatey. And Windows is getting its own one called Winget, I think. Um, but I discovered Scoop uh, ooh, a few years ago because it was the best way to install the GitHub command line interface. And Scoop is really focused on command line uh, software. So it's for installing things like the GitHub CLI. You can install NuGet with it. You can install um, Python and Go and you can, you can install pretty much everything with it. And so to get it, you go to uh, scoop.sh and then you'll see um, install installation instructions in there. So it's just invoke web, web request get.scoop.sh and then pipe that to invoke expression which is, yeah, or go to get.scoop.sh and then check through what's there and then save it into a PS1 file and then run it because you really shouldn't pipe the internet to, um, to a command on your uh, machine. But anyway, once you've got it, it really is, it's super cool. I'm gonna show you how it works here. Let's make the text a bit bigger because you're probably watching this on your phone. Um, and so if I do scoop uh, list, we'll see what apps I have installed. Let's make that a little bit smaller um, and do scoop list. And then you can see there, so I've got 7-zip installed with scoop and Helm, which is a thing that I use with Kubernetes and Linkerd, which is a service mesh that I use with Kubernetes um, and the Hugo static site generator and Linkerd, uh, Node.js, uh, long-term support and something called Starship which is also very cool um, so hang on if I go into um, say monkey sphere app like that so my what looks like my power line prompt here is actually something called Starship and it's a rust program that runs every time and generates your your prompt for you but um, that's that's not what we're here to talk about so if I want to find something new so let's say um, there's another static site generator called Zola, which I found out about the other day, and uh, which is written in Rust, but it's basically similar to Hugo. It's a single binary. And so I can just do scoop search and um, Zola, and it will go off and it will search its buckets. So scoop has buckets of things. Um, and so it'll go off and it'll search through those buckets and see if it can find something called Zola. And it will eventually come back and, and tell me whether it's found it or not. Assuming the Wi-Fi, there we go. So Zola is in the main bucket and it's version uh, 0.15.3. And then I can just do scoop install Zola. Um, and it says updating scoop, updating the extras bucket. So every time you do an install, it makes it updates all its manifests. And that's it. That took six seconds. Um, and I, you know, I just have to know the name of the thing that I'm looking for and I can do scoop search and it'll find it or it won't find it. And then I can just do scoop install. And now I can just do Zola dash dash help and I have Zola installed. Um, and so, yeah, I've been using this for uh, for years now. Um, and I actually, I have a PS1 script saved into Dropbox. And when I set up a new machine, um, I just install Scoop and then I run this, this PS, this PowerShell script and it just goes off and does Scoop update and it adds a bucket. So there are other buckets out there and you can run your own bucket as well. So similar to how Linux um, with APT, Ubuntu and APT, uh, you can add your own repository. So the .NET, um, 
runtime and SDK for Linux is installed from a Microsoft run APT repository. And so you can create your own scoop bucket really easily because it's just a GitHub repo. And then you can put your own stuff in there. And so I've got a couple of extra buckets, but I just run this PowerShell script. It adds those buckets, it updates everything, um, and it installs all the basic software that I use on every machine that I use. So that's it, basically. Um, you can do so here's some useful commands. I can do scoop status. So at any point, that was the other sort of really useful command. I can do scoop status and it'll show me what I've got installed and tell me that updates are available. And again, in, in under a second. So there's oh, it's an updated version of Starship. So I can do uh, scoop update Starship. And there we go. And that I've got, now I'm up to date. And so if I do scoop status again, um, and yeah, that's it, basically. Um, so you can get this from scoop.sh. Uh, if you use the command line a lot, if you use command line utilities and tools and, and applications, then it's definitely worth taking a look at Scoop and seeing if it fits in nicely with your workflow. And that's it. And for more videos like this, be sure to check out the NDC YouTube channel.